Let's play some Jingle Bells. Jingle bells, first part. Usually it'll start out on that, sometimes it'll start out on the B part, and we'll start that today. Go over here to the bass bridge. So what we're going to do is we're gonna basically going to hit the hit that D, walk it down back to the D. So we start with a D, go back to the B, and walk it right on back around, just like a fish hook. Now, sometimes when you play it, you you want to add a little bit to it so you can actually drum the thing if you wanted it. Works either way. The next phrase, you're going to go up to the E. So you're going to start out at the D, we'll fish hook it back to the E. Third phrase, you're going to go, you're going to start out with the, with the E, work up to the C. And then here you have to drop to the F sharp. So here's the first three phrases. Start out with a D, fish hook it back around. Same thing, only this time you're going to end up with E. This time you're going to go from the E from the C and down to the F sharp. You can practice that for a second. Next phrase, you're going to come up here to the D or you can go over here to the D. Doesn't matter either way. So you're going to hit it twice. C, A, B. You're going to go back and do the same thing again. Again, this time to the E. Here to the C. Now this time you're going to go to the D. Skip to the G. And the, the A part actually, or B part, actually B part in this case. So you're starting out on the B, or start, yeah, starting on the B, you're going to go up to the D, back down to the G, and work it way up. Now what I'm doing is anytime I hit one note, I usually will skip a note and do the same thing. I don't hit all uh, double notes all the time because that would that would fill up the fill up the air with uh, noise. And so I'll do the chord and clear it. Next one, next phrase. Go to this D or this D. But since you're doing that, you're right back to this. Mm -hmm. 